Question number three. A uniform sphere of mass M equal to 1.00 kilogram and radius R equal to 5.0 centimeter is held in place by a massless rope attached to a frictionless wall. A distance L equal to 10.0 centimeter above the center of the sphere as indicated in the figure below. You can see the figure. Now, uh, in the workbook, you also could expect that you find the tension in the rope. That is a part of the question. And then B part of the question, the force applied on the sphere by the wall. Now, let's see how we handle this question. Uh, it's an interesting one. You're looking at it, it might seem a kind of scary, but it's simple. Remember, this is GMAS 41. We come from the knowledge of the known and then analyze and deal with the unknown. To solve this question, I'd like us to make a quick sketch. And I'll advise, as you're writing this in your uh, submission book, make that sketch just beside your own sketch in the workbook. All right, that will help to give further information on what you're trying to analyze. So uh, we, we're giving something like this. Think uh, this is the, the, the wall. This is the wall. This fan makes con contact with the, 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 the wall. So for that reason, let, let me draw this sphere first, making contact with the walls. So something like this. All right, I don't mind this, my sphere. <laughs> There's a free hand. So coming to the center, now we have this length, which is the radius given. Okay, so let us say this is the point where the, the rope was fixed. So I'm going to draw something like this. Good. And then uh, we have R to be equal to 5CN given. Then from this point, to where the rope was fixed, from the center of the sphere, to where the rope was fixed, L is equal to 10 cm. So it was given as L and the value 10 cm. So this is what we have there, right? Now, the first part of the question, we are asked to find the tension in the rope. This is the rope. We are asked to find the tension. Remember, the tension pulls up. The tension does what? Pulls upward. That's what is suspending that sphere from falling. Normally, the sphere, the weight will act downward this way. The weight of the sphere will pull downward. So I'm going to call this W, which is equal to Ng. This guy will be pulling that sphere downward, but the tension in that string, right, the rope, will not allow it to fall down. It simply means that the vertical value of this tension will definitely balance the weight of the object. For that reason, let's assume that we have the vertical component, dot, 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 of the tension. I'm going to call this T. Why? What does that mean? Tension acting in the vertical direction. This tension that is acting in that vertical direction must balance the weight of the object. Must balance the weight of the object. So I'm going to use an arrowhead facing up, telling us that the tension is pulling upward. Okay, now uh, I am going to connect these two lines, this one and this vertical, with this line. That, that, that. Good. So that if you take a look at this diagram, this part of the diagram, are you following right? That is right angle triangle. Normally, there is an angle here. Let's call it theta. Let's call it theta. That angle will also be equal to this angle based on what I've drawn. Alternate angles are the same from the knowledge of geometry and mathematics. So here is also theta. That theta is very important to us. Yeah, it's very important because that is what we are going to use in getting the vertical component of this tension. And it is only the vertical component of the tension that is equal to the weight of uh, the sphere because the sphere is, you know, the weight of the sphere is pulling down straight, perpendicular. So it must balance the normal component of the tension. That's the tension acting vertically up. So I need this guy. Very important. And how do I get the value of that Ty? Simply, you know, using the knowledge of vector resolution in terms of a vector that is inclined. You know, sine theta cos theta. That's what the, the point. So this is the angle we are talking about because I'm resolving now. I'm focusing on this right angle triangle. If I want, I can use this side of the right angle triangle. I'll still get the same thing. The idea is, know that this angle theta is facing this horizontal. The angle that the rope made with the vertical, you can see the angle the rope made with the wall. The wall is already vertical, which is what I transferred here. Vertical, okay? 